Hello, good Wednesday. It is 10.35 in the morning and um, I can't quite seem to get my video that is not shadowing out this bright sunshine. So I look like I'm in the fog of this morning, but it's wonderful outside now. Anyway, ready for some rambling because we got a lot. First of all, I, I think I've just confused you all about Montreat and Ghost Ranch. I just need to know if you want to go to Montreat or Ghost Ranch or both. Does not mean if we're gonna do either of them. It just means I need to know where most of you are thinking and plan so that we can plan for this. It's already November. Um, we have zero money in our account, so we've really got to nail something down what our plans are for the summer. Um, so I would really like by the end of this week that gives you three days, two, two, three days, to let me know so that by next week we can have a traje trajectory. Um, Montreat, again, is <clears throat> for junior high, there's a week, and then there's a separate week for senior high. Ghost Ranch, we've talked with some of the leadership um, because you're, it's such a large group. Um, it may just be, if we go, when we go to Ghost Ranch, that may be a senior high thing. So, um, you know, then there's opportunity for a middle school Montreat or there another middle school. Uh, we would do something with the middle schoolers. Um, I'm trying to work with Trevor Dunlap to get us into his facility for um, a just an FPC kind of youth weekend conference, something. Um, and so maybe that turns into our middle school overnight retreat kind of thing, depending on what when the timing of that can be. So. Montreat or Ghost Ranch, or you don't care, take three seconds, think about it. If you haven't seen your kid all week, which that happens, I get it, um, think about if they wouldn't care if they went to either one. Uh, we haven't gone to Montreat in a while, and I know that that holds a special place in the hearts of our families at First Pres. I've never been there. I know it's a wonderful place. Um, it is a different kind of retreat style. It is a conference style. It is um, going into activities and things with other people and small groups and chapel service with lots of people um, as opposed to those that went to Ghost Ranch. It was just our group. So different um, different scenarios which attract different kids. So just let me know. Maybe you don't care either one. Let me know that too. Um, a spiritual retreat. That's something that we kind of talked about that could lead into um, some of the activities that we did in Ghost Ranch, some of the art projects and some of the spiritual practices kind of that we picked up there, we could use that as a fundraiser. If that is something that you want to do, I need to know that too so that we can get a date, so that we can start planning for that, so that we can kind of get the word out. Um, we've got a lot of seniors in our youth group this year, and so I want to make sure that we can not overtax them and their families and make sure that they feel included and um, can be able to do the things that they want to do before the busyness of senior ends. Um, Sunday is our laser tag at Acres of Fun from 12 to 1. So come to church, come to Sunday school, come to church. We are going to be working on Youth Sunday stuff at Sunday school, so please plan to come. Stay for church, communion, All Saints Day. We'll be remembering those that have um, gone this past year. And um, go home, change your clothes, grab a quick bite to eat, and then meet us at, laser t at Acres of Fun for laser tag from 12 to 1. Um, there is a $10 cost involved. We'll cover the rest of it. And any more if you want food or any of the other things that they offer there. Um, and then Youth Sunday. So uh, in this email is a rundown of what we will be doing. We kind of talked about it one Sunday. Nobody had any great ideas. We're going to throw in some Ghost Ranch stuff. Um, and since we've been kind of talking about Matthew 25 and our church hasn't really embraced it this year with some different things that we've been doing monthly, um, the Presbyterian Youth Triennium group has put out a uh, curriculum for kind of a retreat, like a worship style kind of curriculum for a retreat if you wanted to have one. But it is based on Matthew 25. And it's got some really great um, ideas and some readings and some scriptures and some liturgies and things like that. So we're going to work with that and go for it. So I've got tons of readings. Um, this will be all in the email below. I want you to go over. So I need readers. Um, if you're not a reader or if you don't play an instrument, Miss Rachel hasn't talked to you yet about playing something if you want to, piano or, or something that you play for school, an instrument that you play for school, um, let me know. We can get you in there. But if you don't play an instrument, you don't like to read, you don't like to be in front of people, we've got lots of things to do. I'd like to put a slideshow together. 
um, for those of us that went to Ghost Ranch, throw some pictures up and let them, you know, let them see what we did. Um, we, we often have artwork drawn for bulletin covers. Um, I need ushers and greeters and people to collect the offering and things like that. So there's lots of things that we can get you involved with that is not standing up in front of people reading. Um, so I want to make sure that everybody feels like they can have a part and does have a part in you Sunday. That is November 20th. So we will be practicing a little bit um, Sunday. We'll be going over it and, I, you know, if you can't be there this Sunday, let me know if your kid wants to be a reader or if they've talked to Rachel about playing music or if they haven't talked, just let us know those kinds of things. Um, and then I'm not going to be here on the 13th, but there is an eventide that evening at 630. I will be at that. I won't be at church Sunday morning on the 13th. Um, so the eventide is going to be on gratitude. Um, it's just a really wonderful kind of peaceful time to end the day. Um, you know, we have our regular worship in the morning and then you do whatever you do in the afternoon. And then it's just a nice, peaceful way to come and end your day. Um, last week, last month, we did some kind of meditative Lectio Divina style, um, scripture listening, um, so this, and this, and will be different every time. Um, Susan Schaefer, who is Noah and Hope's mom, she teaches, helps teach um, the senior high class. She plays the guitar and has a, an amazing voice. Um, and so she played some music on the guitar that you can sing to, or you can just listen to. So it's really, um, it's really a nice evening and it's half an hour. I mean, it's not really long. So um, we are gonna practice Youth Sunday on the 13th um, at five o'clock. Um, so we'll practice, we'll run through, we'll talk about it, we'll get all the kinks out, we'll make sure people have the music and the things that they need, and then we'll stay for Eventide. Um, <clears throat> so I hope that you all can be there. Let me know if you can be there on the 13th at 5 o'clock to practice and stay for Eventide. Um, Eventide has some, you know, really simple scripture readings that we use. There's a prayer, there's, you know, the blessing, there's the opening, things like that. It's not, it's not really a lot of the liturgy that you hear the 10 15 service, but um, we do have opportunities for readers and things. So if you're going to be there, we would love to have you read um, and include you in that. Um, so that's the 13th. And then you Sunday is the next week on the 20th. So it's really important that you be there. And then finally, um, since I've been sending things out to the whole congregation based on our Matthew 25 initiative on church vitality, just kind of the fellowship and the livelihood of our church, feeding ourselves so that we can feed other people in discipleship um, and working on, you know, eradicating poverty and racism. I've been sending out whole church emails um, that have links to TED Talks or podcasts or songs or music or whatever. Um, and so I'm going to create a resource page. And I thought maybe like once a month um, we could have, I will send out a resource page that has whatever we're talking about. So November is um, poverty. And so, you know, when I run across a podcast or a video or some music or a new, you know, worship group, um, I'll just throw it into an email and send it out. And so you as your family can kind of go through those resources and pick out the ones you like, the ones, you know, the ones you want to listen to, throw them on while you're waiting at the sports practice or put it on in your car when you're driving to a game or whatever it may be. Um, and so then you can just have those resources as a family to listen to and go through. We have lots of books for younger kids. Um, so if you have a sibling, you know, a younger sibling, we've got lots of books at the church that really are great resources for just talking about some of those hard things that are, you just don't know how to start talking about. So that's that. So Montreat or Ghost Ranch, pretty simple. Let me know which one your family is most inclined to do. Spiritual retreat fundraiser. If it is something that you want to help with, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Um, I need to know if that is something that we want to do. It, it, we will also do the Italian dinner, which is in February. So this would just be something extra. I'm thinking like, um, you know, we'd have meditation. We'd have a yoga class. We'd have, you know, some of the art classes that we learned at Montreal, a Taekwondo class. Um, the labyrinth we could have out. We could have like pottery or music, some you know, some of those spiritual practices, some coloring, things like that, which those classes are going to have to be led by people. So there might be a cost involved if I have to get a yoga teacher or something. And then we might charge, you know, $25 for a class. Um, and we'd have a scheduled out and, or we say it's $100 for the whole day. Um, so if we get 10, 10 people, 
that want to do the whole day, that's a thousand dollars, you know, and it's pretty, pretty low key. I won't say it will be easy, but, um, anyway, so that's kind of how I was thinking that would run. Um, laser tag on Sunday from 12 to one, um, Sunday school, we'll be practicing youth Sunday, youth Sunday. We will be practicing on the 13th at five o'clock at the church and then stay for eventide youth Sunday is November 20th. And then the resource email that, um, I'll be sending out. So check the bottom of this email after you watch this video for um, kind of a Youth Sunday breakdown and some themes and things that we're going to be doing and let me know what you want to do. So have a great day.